Uh, we are solving some questions from the past papers. The first question we have that is from March 16 and variant 62. It's a sixth question from the paper. Uh, it says uh, here that um, Anna chooses five singers from 15 applicants to appear in a concert. She lists five singers in the order in which they will perform. How many different lists can Anna make? So you see that uh, there is this word order written over here, okay? So this means that um, like if it was only to uh, list five singers uh, from all of these, um, there were 15, okay? So this could simply be uh, 15C5, but she has to put them in an order in, in which they are going to perform. So therefore this is going to be 15 C5 times factor, uh, uh, times five factorial, or you could directly do it uh, 15 P5 as well. Okay, so that is the first part. And please stop me if there is anything uh, you need um, me, you want me to explain more. Of the 15 applicants, 10 are female and five are male, okay? So number of female singers is 10 and the number of male singers is five. Find the number of the list in which the first performer is male, okay? So um, we have a male here and then the second is female, okay? The third is male, fourth is female and the fifth is male. Okay, so you see, again, uh, we, we are not sure which males are these and in which order they are going to perform. So this means that these three slots are for the three males out of the five males. Okay, so this would be 5P3 times these two slots are for the two females out of the 10 females. Okay, so for that, you will have 10 P3. So this is 5, sorry, 10 P2. So this is 5 P3 times 10 P2. Yes? Chubai? This is already in, in we, we need these five singers in this particular order. Male, female, male, female, and then male. So these three males, uh, their orders, since we are um, keeping the orders in mind, therefore I'm using this 5P3, okay? This is 5P3 okay, and then it's 10P2. Okay, don't think that now you can do that, uh, okay, 5C3 times 10C2. And then if you mix them up, like this is going to be uh, five factorial, it, this does mean that there are going to be three males and two females, but when you write it like five factorial, so this means these five singers over chosen over here, they can perform in any order. This uh, situation might or might, might not be satisfied, this condition, okay? So this has to be, you have to fix these positions for the males and you find this separately 5P3, and then you have the places for the females and you have that 10 P2 for those two females out of 10. Okay. Now next this is Hannah's friend, Amy would like the group of five performers to include more males than females. The order in which they perform is no longer relevant. Look, see, look at this. It says the order is no more relevant. So this means we are not bothered about this factorial thing or this P thing over here. Uh, the friend wants more males, okay? So we have to arrange five singers. So now, uh, since we want more males, so this can be all five males, there is no female. There can be four males, one female, and there can be three males and two females. So the permutations for these would be, now these are, five and these are 10, okay? So the third part's answer would be 5C5 five five times 10C0 plus 
5C4 times 10C1 and then plus 5C3 times 10C2. Since we are only uh, interested in the number of selections, so there is no need to think about these two things, NPR or the R factorial. So it is purely going to be about NCR. Yeah, the fourth part. It says uh, uh, in this fourth part, we have two of the applicants are Mr. and Mrs. Blake. Find the number of different selections. Again, guys, different selections that include Mr. and Mrs. Blake and also fulfill Amy's requirement. Okay. Hmm. Now, interesting question. Uh, we have to keep both of those, maybe they are very famous singers, so we want them to be in that um, list of singers, Mr. and Mrs. Blake. Okay, now, uh, we want them to be there in the, in the list. So, Bacho, uh, how many singers we were looking for before this condition? Mm -hmm. We wanted to have five singers. Four males. Yeah, we wanted to have five singers out of these um, 15 people, out of the um, five males and 10 females, okay? Now, since Mr. and Mrs. Blake, they are already there, so now we need three singers, okay? Out of four males and nine females. Do you get this, Bacho? And the condition is that there should be more males, okay? So now this is males, females, and we have nine males, we have four, sorry, we have four males and we have nine females. So this should be um, all four of them can be males, and sorry, all three of them, sorry, 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 sorry. All three of them can be males and no female, two males and one female, okay? So this is the fourth part answer would then be uh, 4C3 times 9C0 plus 4C2 times 9C1. <laughs> So these are the number of arrangements, I mean, the number of selections, which has more males and Mr. and Mrs. Black as well there in the list. If you have any inquiry, any question, any problem, please let me know, make it clear. If there is no problem, we can move to the next part, next question, next paper, in fact. Okay, a question from March 17, paper 62, fifth question. A plate of cakes holds 12 different cakes. Find the number of ways these cakes can be shared between Alex and James if each receives an odd number. Okay, so this is Alex and James. So if Alex has um, 11, James will have one. Alex has... Um, uh, Nine and three. Nine, Nine and three, and then seven and five and seven. Those five, okay. And then <clears throat> this has five, sorry, yeah. This has five, this is seven, this has seven, sorry, this has three, this has nine, and this has one, and this has 11, okay. So <clears throat> these are different cakes, so this is gonna be, uh, <clears throat> 12 C 11 times 1 C 1. Okay. And you do this into 2 for these two. Okay. Plus 12 C 9 times 3 C 3. And again into 2 because of these two. And then plus 12 C 5 times. Set up. Into two, why are you doing? Because, look, if James has 11 and 
this has Alex as one. So it's the same. Like if you do it like this, 12 C1 times 11 C11. Uh, you guys know that. Um, okay. This has, been, this has already been discussed in previous class that 12 C1 is same as 12 C11. Do you remember that? They are same. Yes, right? So that is why you will add them together. Okay, let me see quickly about the second part. What is in the second part? Okay, it says um, another plate holds seven cupcakes, each with a different color icing and four brownies, each of a different size. Find the number of different ways it, these 11 cakes can be arranged in a row if no brownies next to another brownie. So we have to keep these brownies um, away from each other. So this is, uh, I have given you a typical way of, do that, of doing this. Like, you know, the, these are the cupcakes here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. And then there are four brownies. So you have these slots here for the brownies here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this can be eight P four times seven factorial. That's it. You can do it this way. No two brownies, they should be next to each other, next to another brownie. So that is 8p4 times 7 factorial. Do you understand this? Do you remember that question where there are males and females and we wanted no two males to be together? Hmm? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so I'm going to finish this session over here. And I'll have some more questions in the in the upcoming sessions. Okay, thank you very much.